And Yin Homes is back with another property home tour. Today we are on Jalan Datuk Sulaiman 4. If you've seen our previous videos of Datuk Sulaiman Homes, you'll know that the area offers a great neighbourhood, prime location within TTDI and wide, wide, wide roads. This is my favourite taman in TTDI because of these reasons. And today, we bring to you a rare corner lot unit on Jalan Datuk Sulaiman that has been renovated to two and a half storey with an absolutely stunning view. Let's go! This 2.5-storey corner terrace was renovated 10 years ago, with all major wet works done and an added half-storey for additional built-up space. So you'll find that it's nearly impossible to get a land area and structure like this in the heart of Klang Valley. The house itself is 22.5 by 95 feet, which only Datuk Sulaiman area offers. The land area is a whopping 3,697 square feet. So with a built-up of 2,800 square feet, you are getting a very sizable built-up. Bear in mind that the average semi-D land area in TTDI is only 3,600 square feet, with a built-up of 2,003 to 2,005 without renovation. This home sits on a freehold land with a Kuala Lumpur address, which means foreigners can own this home too. It comes with 5 bedrooms and 4 baths. Let's check out the interior. The key highlight for this home is the flat line layout, which is fantastic. Datuk Sulaiman area has two layouts, the flat line layout and the split up. Do note that the split up layout means your kitchen has a retaining wall at the back, but the flat line layout doesn't. And it is highly favoured because it is suitable for families with young children or elderly and added bandwidth for the living area. Therefore, this layout always fetches a premium in TTDI because of this reason. Let's check out the interior but before we do, check out the panel door. It's a large solid panel door that leads you right into the house. So I love these panel windows. The homeowners have made the windows extra large to allow more natural light into the house. These window frames are also of top quality aluminium. The ceiling height is about 11 feet and this wall behind me is huge. I think you could easily plant a 75 inch TV here. Even with bookcases, this will turn this place into a cozy living area and TV den for your family. The dining area is pretty large. You can see that it could be an easy, easy eight seater right here. There's a huge back wall which the current homeowners use it as their coffee machine pantry. You can choose to keep this or add on a built-in cabinet for your displays if you like. What's great about corner lots is the seamless flow between the indoor and outdoor. Great space for the kids to run around and for hosting all those dinner parties. Maybe even, I don't know, play badminton here? The patio is large and great for barbecues and parties or just a quiet evening to yourself. There is a backyard area that's private because you're on higher ground. It is also great as a utilities area or wet kitchen or even the kids play area. There are so many ways to optimize the space. So all Datuk Sulaiman houses do come with a room downstairs but what this homeowners have done is that they have extended it into a sizable granny room. You could easily fit a queen-size bed in here and have a study nook. But that's just for future proving. At the moment, you can be a helper's room, utilities room or a storage room. I love that all probable scenarios have been thought of by the current homeowner. Let's head on upstairs for more unique features of the home. This is the level 1 landing. You can see there's a huge living space here as well. You can turn this into a TV den or a private family area. The moment you head upstairs, you will see the full-on parquet. Still intact and I think it just needs a little varnish to bring it to life again. So I'm going to show you the two bedrooms upstairs that are connected by the Jack and Jill bathroom. You can see that the rooms are sizable. You could fit your bed, wardrobe, dresser. 
But what I love is that both rooms, the owners have again extended the window area to allow for more natural light. But that's not all. Most importantly is that you have the master bedroom on the same level so mummy and daddy can be on the same level on the east side of the house. Which brings us to the compass facing of the house. The house is facing east. For Datuk Sulaiman houses, your home would be either facing east or west. For those units facing east, you can enjoy the morning sun in the garden and the living space. And those units facing east would be the flat line layout. The master bedroom is huge. You can see that it has ample space and there's even a section for a walk-in wardrobe. You can add on a sliding door here, but that's up to you. Now, if mummy and daddy want more privacy, you could easily turn that master bedroom downstairs into a TV den, guest room or study room. Because right here on the top floor, you have a grand master suite. I love this private studio concept that offers unparalleled privacy for mummy and daddy. So right here, you have your study area, you have a reading corner, you even have a large bedroom with ample wardrobe space. So if the children are still young and you all want to be on the same floor, this area could easily be your work from home office, your study area, or if you're feeling artsy, this could be the perfect art studio with so much natural light. You will never feel closed in even at the top floor of your home. But wait, there's more. Now for the grand review. This stunning view. The sun deck is a spacious space for you to have your own glamping party for the kids. If you notice the solar panels here, all the hot water in the home runs on this. There are two large water tanks here and one more downstairs. You'll never worry about water cuts. You can even have your own hydroponic garden right here, which the homeowners used to do. So much potential, so many ideas. Let's talk price. So the average landed property prices per square foot in Tamantun run from a range of 650 to 700 per square foot. Our last transacted inter-corner unit was sold at 650 per square foot in the year 2021. It has a land area of 3,697 square feet and a built-up of approximately 1,900 square feet. And it was sold at 2.4 million. This basic split-up unit required a total overhaul at 1.2 million to tear down and rebuild into a 2.5 storey. As the renovation cost is around 400 to 450 per square foot. If you add that up, this brings you to a total of 3.6 million. But that's not factoring the turnover time of 12 to 18 months of renovation, which you will still need to finance the mortgage of this house while paying for your current place. This home has a built up of 2,800 square feet. The aircons are still new to me. If you want to change it, that's up to you. The fencing and auto gate use the best aluminium quality. All lights are LED with three-phase wiring. The 2.5-storey is ready built with a sun deck. There are new water tanks and most importantly, all necessary M&A and A&A have been done. All this home requires is a fresh coat of paint and maybe some polishing on the flooring and you can move in while keeping things all under the 4 mil mark. Now, of course, if you're looking at the semi-D categories in Tamantun, the basic semi-Ds in the area are going between 2.55 to 3.2 million range. This is without factoring your m and &E costs, A&A, and ID. This will bring you to approximately 800 to 1 million minimum. So when you factor all this, you're looking at 3.2 to 4 over million mark. But bear in mind, those semi-Ds coming in at the lower entry point at 2.55 plus plus will not be in a great location within the area, hence the lower price. This Datuk Sulaiman inter-corner house that is freehold with a KL address comes with a land area of 3,697 square feet with a built-up of 2,800 square feet. All M&E and a and &E works have been done comes with a price tag of 3.6 million. 
With all this in play, you will find that this home is priced well within market range. For a corner, two and a half storey home that is fully renovated with an extra large built up in one of TTDI's best locations. Before we come to an end to our home tour, let's just bring you back to the garden. Ample space with a branded fencing and auto gate. Small details but heavy on the wallet. If you want to find out more or you want to take a look at the home, give me a call or drop me a text. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for our next home tour video. I'm Yimping from Yin Homes, always happy to show you the place. Bye!